just realised that this setup is actually almost a year old now. Hi everyone, George here and welcome to the GFS Gallery, a very kind of informal on the fly update of the GFS Gallery, including the 1200 and my Malawi Cichlid Scape. Let's take a quick look at the 1200, I will do a full update on this soon. Um, I haven't done a video for a while actually, it's been, it's been over a week. I have been full on writing my aquascaping book. I actually submitted the first draft of the manuscript yesterday evening, which was an epic moment for me. Actually got a little bit emotional. So uh, there'll be lots of to and froing. Still got a little bit of content in terms of photography, etc., to provide to the publisher. But fingers crossed it will be published in August. Anyway, without further ado, let's take a closer look at the 1200. Looking amazing right now. And then we'll dive over to the Cichlid Scape and talk about some amazing products from Fritz. So let's go. Check out those red stems at the back. That's Limnophila hipparoides. I'm actually going to wait until all of these have reached the surface and then I'm going to trim them. But I'll do a full on tutorial video of trimming and why we trim and the techniques that we can use, etc. Other than that, all the plants are looking super healthy. Virtually no nuisance algae. Livestock's looking great. Probably one of my best aquascapes. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Really, really love this scape right now. I uh, just want to give a shout out to Scape Nature as well for giving me and Emma a beautiful wedding present here. This moss art, which is zero maintenance. You just hang it on your wall and away you go. There'll be a little bit of humidity created from the aquarium, which will help to keep it healthy. And there's obviously a bit of ambient light as well. So yeah, love this. Really, really lovely. Uh, just spanning over to some Tropica art prints that you may have seen already. I'm off to Denmark next week. I'm actually planning on a full kind of tour of this amazing store called Unimati, uh, which is fairly near the Tropica headquarters in Denmark. It's a beautiful store. Some of you that follow my Instagram may have seen a quick snapshot of it. But yeah, you can look forward to hopefully, or definitely going to produce a video from there. So excited about that one. Okay. Let's go and take a look at the cichlidscape. Okay, here we are, the Awaze Highline 175, home to my Chindongo Suizi, I can never pronounce that correctly, uh, Malawi cichlids. Uh, had these for at least six months now and they've grown really well. You can see the yellow fish there, they're the females, and then the blue and black stripy fish, they are the males. So I think there's six females and four males, doing really well. Had some commentary that the, the tank's overstocked now, the fish are getting so big, but I do have a huge filter on here. I've upgraded from the Awaze Biomaster 350 Thermo to the 600. So this is more than capable, I think, of dealing with the waste from these 10 fish. And I've also got the new Awaze Easy Controller here. I've yet to plumb that in, uh, but this controls the lighting. You can control the spectrum, the photo period, ramping up, ramping down. I will do a full video on how this is used as well. And then here we've got the Fritz products, which I mentioned earlier at the beginning of the video. Uh, really big fan of this. This is not just any kind of glass cleaner, but it actually gives you a, like a protective film on the glass. So it becomes kind of polished and then easier to clean every time you use it. It's completely safe as well. If you do actually accidentally get a little bit in the aquarium water, that's no problem. I'm gonna use this on all my aquariums from now on. And then this is really interesting. So I do get a lot of waste created in the scape. The cichlids are messy fish. And the idea behind this is it's a sludge remover. So there's some bacteria in there which basically eat the sludge, which will hopefully kind of result in a cleaner aquarium. I am doing at least a 50% water change once, maybe even twice a week, sometimes even up to 75%. But this is just hopefully to help maintain this really high water quality that I'm aiming for. And then finally, got some really great dechlorinator. So this is actually a raw form, it's powder. And basically for every water change, I just add a level teaspoon of this. Uh, which is about 40 gallons worth, which is about what I'm changing every time I do a water change. So I just literally put this in the bucket, which is pumping in water from my kitchen. I'll overlay some video of that right now, but super good value. You're not paying for, you know, the water solution that most dechlorinators come in. You're literally buying the raw product. It also gets rid of uh, the chloramines as well. Some cheaper dechlorinators only get rid of the chlorine, 
but the chloramine is potentially a more harmful product. I am filming on my iPhone, so the colours might look a little bit odd, but I am filming in 60 frames a second, so hopefully the footage is a little bit more smooth than usual. Uh, but the fish are just absolutely stunning now, and they're, they're getting to become full size, I would say. You can see on the rocks there's like a, a minor coating of algae. This isn't an issue because the, the fish actually use this as a, a natural food source and they like to graze the rocks. So I'm quite happy to leave a little bit of algae on there. But every month or so I'll give the rocks a, a, a big clean with a, I've actually invested, let's say invested, it only cost me four pounds, which is about six bucks, electric toothbrush. It just got a AAA battery in there. You can completely submerse it in the water. And rather than lots of manual labor of scrubbing, you can use the electric toothbrush and it does a lot of the work for you. So that's what I've been using to clean the rocks lately. I'll just let overlay some video now of, of the maintenance that I do on this tank. So siphon all of the water out into my garden to feed the lawn and the plants. And then whilst I'm doing that, I'll disturb the substrate and wave my hands around the rocks. This dislodges a load of waste organics, which is then siphoned out as part of the water change as well. And then once I've siphoned out about 70% of the water, 75% of the water, I will refill with fresh dechlorinated tap water, which we talked about already with that Fritz dechlorinator. So really happy with this scape. It is really easy to care for. There's no plants to trim. There's no fertilizers required, no CO2 injection. So it's just really a fish tank. And you know, it really gives you the opportunity just to focus on the fish behavior, the colors, the movement. It's a real different vibe to the Aquascaper 1200, of course. But I really like to have these kind of two distinct styles of aquarium. It really gives you a, a broader spectrum of visual impact when you're enjoying your aquariums. Uh, hopefully next month, I will be looking at installing my first ever reef tank from Triton. Some of you may have heard of Triton. This is a system based on zero water changes and having your water kind of analyzed uh, by a very expensive computer, basically, which tells you what elements you need to dose more of or less of and you can adjust that accordingly and it's all going to be kind of computerized and automated so really excited to bring you some super exciting marine content which is going to be a brand new thing basically for the channel i have released some kind of reef cinematic videos i'll leave the link to the playlist right now um, but yeah really excited to kind of take the plunge into the salt water world and see if i can transfer some of my aquascaping experience into that genre of fish keeping so really excited about this one of the kind of key elements actually it's worth mentioning behind this reef is going to be sustainability so i'm going to be only using captive bred corals captive bred fish and this you know is quite a big kind of issue at the moment with uh, overfishing and natural habitat destruction and things like this so i think this is a uh, a responsible kind of way at maybe keeping our reef tanks. Okay, so I do have a new lighting unit here. This is the Awazi LED. I think this is a 65 centimeter version. I think it's about 50 watts or so. I'll leave, I'll leave the actual wattage over the screen right now. And this is controllable by the Easy Controller, which I haven't actually plum plugged in and, and controlled yet. But this is all kind of, you can control it via your phone, via an app, which I've downloaded. And you can, like I said, control the spectrum, the photo period, ramping up, ramping down, which is great for fish. So it doesn't startle them with like an instant on and an instant off. So this is great. And this can slide forwards and backwards. And I like to have it forward so it front lights the fish and the aquascape and that makes the background even darker than it usually is which is uh, creates a much nicer contrast and actually makes the fish look more colorful there i've got the filter outlet there i was using the spray bar but i decided to use the single nozzle only uh, this creates in my experience a better kind of circulation around the aquarium and results in less kind of collected detritus so the filter's picking up 
uh, that waste organics as much as possible. It's got the dry weir here, so all of the electrical equipment and the filter work here comes over here. This is completely dry inside here. And what this does, it allows the aquarium to be pushed right back to the rear wall without any cables or filter pipe work hanging around the back. So if you're limited for space in your living room or wherever you've got your aquarium, this is a really good option. And the, the, the black is actually kind of black glass. It's not, there's no artificial black background or it's not painted. It's actually a pure black background, which I think looks really great. I've just realized that this setup is actually almost a year old now. So time flies. Do check out the earlier videos on this so you can see how small the fish are in comparison, see how much they've grown. Okay guys, there you go. A update of the GFS gallery, paying particular attention to the Oase Highline 175 with the new Fritz products. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You take care. Keep on scaping. Cheerio.